Hey, greetings, welcome to the vlog. Excuse the sniffles, I'm just kind of getting over uh, the Omnitron, the Omnicron variant. Anyways, I have here the shark and I'm about to do uh, probably what's gonna be the death of this poor little shark. So I just wanted to show you guys what that looked like. What she sounds like. And uh, we got a 13 pound bag of baking soda. And as we know here in the U.S., uh, at least superstition is that 13 is an unlucky number. Hmm. What say you, little shark? Uh, so we're gonna, well, you know I'm gonna kill this shark. So let's get on with it. I haven't decided if I need a respirator or not for this. Uh, I guess I'll see if it starts to leak. You know, on post-production here and looking at this footage, you can see on the bottom the sound wave in the editing file. And you can see as it gets progressively more high pitch. And you can actually visually see that in the sound waves. I thought that was super interesting. I wanted to share that with you. And to the right of this, you can see it's producing almost double the sound waves that it was to the left. And that's pretty much the death of the machine there, and you can actually see the death of the shark in the sound wave. Well, there is baking soda all over everything in my garage now, including the camera. That's great. And the machine is, well, I guess it's alive. Uh, it looks hungry. We better feed it one more cup to be on the safe side. I think there's more baking soda outside the machine than there is in the machine at this point. <sighs> yeah, we've, uh, we're still not actually at the full, we're still only about half full according to the indicator on the machine, uh, despite having given itself four cups. That's, uh, honestly, it should have shut itself off by now. That tells me that the thermocoupling is defective inside the machine. If I could run the machine like this, uh, there might not be a thermocoupling in here. But I suspect there is one, because there's, there'd have to be, uh, for them to get it UR, uh, UL certified. So I believe what's going on here is uh, it's got a defective safety shut off. Uh, and yeah, that seems to be the uh, end of the machine. Let's give it one more and see what it, it can do. I just did the baking soda video and this machine is trashed. And why I'm gonna return this, I don't want any of this shit in my car um, or anywhere else in the house. So I need to clean this off. Normally I'd bring it outside and blow it off the compressed air and maybe the garden hose but it's freezing and my garage door is currently broken. So the solution I have is it's gonna take a shower. <laughs> uh, let's see how that works. Actually, I think that's gonna work absolutely great. Just shower it off. Make sure we get it nice and Clean and not full of baking soda. All right. Well, I think actually, I think that's pretty good. I 
think if we, I don't think I got anything in the filter actually. Let's see if the filter's wet. Uh, it's kind of in between. So that's the, uh, that's the solution I came up with. And we'll just, uh, well, we're not having any guests anytime soon, so we're just gonna let it sit there and dry for a couple days before I get rid of this thing. Thanks folks for supporting performance reviews and letting us make videos uh, like that. As you can see, my shark is not quite dry yet after its shower. Everything else was dry, but I, I neglected to take out the front roller, not realizing it would be like a paintbrush. This thing is just so full of moisture as you see it left a mark on my rug. Of course the vacuum devil did. But I want to talk about the filters for a second. Um, I washed these filters after they were completely packed with the stuff and you see they're still full of crap. You really can't ever wash these properly clean after they get dirty unfortunately. You can come pretty close but they really just never get properly clean. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of put this together just enough to make it look like it didn't get wet. I don't want them to make think it got wet. I might have to get some Windex on that. Well, I think that looks a little bit better. At least it doesn't look like it got wet. The rest of this is uh, just a different story. Uh, this baking soda stuff's actually really hard to clean off. I wasn't expecting that. I really have to give it quite a bit of elbow grease here. So you see to, to get all the, all the baking soda-ness off this. Um, so I may have created a bigger mess than I thought I did originally. Um, man. It's definitely it is just a horrible machine. Um, do I regret purchasing this to demonstrate this? A little bit, because um, it sucks so much to use. Uh, I was talking to uh, Sam, uh, Becco1987, about this, and I, he was like, oh, well, if you bought, bought one every year at Costco and just uh, keep it for a year and then you know, return it or whatever. I was like, oh, I do not want to do that. I don't want to ever experience this again if I never have to. And uh, my shark experience is, and the way I would put this is, this is like having nails on, on a chalkboard, but in vacuum cleaner format. It is just torturous. Um, and I'm sure some people love their sharks, but man, uh, I sure couldn't. Uh, get used to using this. So we're going to go ahead and pack this up. And uh, it's not like another consumer is going to get this. I just want to be clear. This machine's probably going to be destroyed or sent back to Shark for refurbishment uh, is what Costco does. It doesn't get put back on the shelves. If it was going to get put back on the shelves, I would never do anything like this. I pay a Costco membership fee and this is where it goes. This sort of stuff. Uh, as you can see, there's just baking soda clumps everywhere. I'll have to vacuum that up uh, with a Henry and then throw away the bag when I'm done, I guess. So that's the shark, what condition it's in. I'm not actually gonna run it anymore. I don't wanna create the mess. I don't wanna see what the mess is, but I thought y'all would be interested in seeing the uh, shark one last time before I return it, just to show you what condition it's in. I guess one more thing as I pack this thing up to send it back is just how like convoluted this is. You have to assemble every little piece, piece of this and I'm having to box this thing back up separately and it's just, it's just kind of a mess. It's a horrible process. I can't imagine a consumer could get this back in the box uh, to return it. I think I'm going to have to wipe this down a little bit more. Just to have some obvious... Uh, evidence of what <laughs> horrible things went on with this. Well, it's not all doom and gloom with Shark. I have been really testing out this chameleon valve. 
So that sound it makes, it has some sort of wheel mechanism or something that helps guide the hose in, and that's very different than the Hida hose. Um, also, pulling this hose out is a little bit harder than the Hida hose right now because uh, it's still having to form to the pipes. So there is going to be a review video on this. I just need to thoroughly review it before I actually come to conclusions on it. Um, but so far, so good. I really like it. Um, it is a little bit weird reaching into this black hole of abyss to turn it on. And then to suck it back in. One thing I think is cool is regardless of how the door is, it's sealed and ready to go. And I think that is a really big advancement in terms of retractable hoses is not relying on this door as a gasket because even on traditional central vacuum valves that can get broken. So I think that's really smart thinking. And then having a label with a QR code explaining how to use it is kind of nice too. So if you get somebody who's new, they can kind of at least guess. All right, before we go, just an update on this thing. This thing's just still just chugging along, working just as it should. So I'm really impressed with this cordless uh, Vissel works still. Thanks for tuning in to the weekly vlog, or what has become a bi-weekly vlog. I'm sorry I haven't made as many of these as I usually make, and content on the channel has been kind of up and down lately. Uh, I've been kind of sick. Thanks for watching, folks. Have yourself a wonderful day.